Okay, so on 13, um, we want to remember to find the inverse. You're just going to switch x and y. So I have gone ahead and looked at all, look at all these ordered pairs, and I've just switched the x and the y. So the inverse of b is going to be negative 3, negative 2. So negative 3, negative 2. It's right here. So this one, we're going to call this b with that little same um, inverse mark that you, that you normally see, like f inverse of x. So we're going to call that b prime. Okay, so the inverse of a is going to be 1, negative 1. So 1, negative 1. So this one is a prime. And remember, those are going to connect with each other. So b prime and a prime have to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that b prime to a prime connect. Okay, and then c, the inverse here is going to be negative 4, 1. So negative 4, 1. And that is c prime, and it is going to connect with a prime because c and a connect. Okay, and then um, 5, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. And that is D prime, and that's going to connect with C prime. Okay, E, e prime is still going to be 4, 4. If you switch 4, 4, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and 4, 4 is still on the uh, that line Y equals X that we'd be reflecting over. So this is going to be E prime, and it connects with D prime. And then finally, um, if you switch 5 and 0, you get 0, 5. So 0, 5 is here, and that is F prime, and it is going to connect with E prime. There you go.